It is Vlogmas day one of 2018. This is our family's third annual year of doing Vlogmas and I'm so excited. The kids are getting so big. Like to think that Kaylee turned two years old during the first Vlogmas is just crazy to me because now she's such a big girl. So for the first day of Vlogmas, I wanna start out by doing a Christmas home decor tour. So I'm gonna show you all my Christmas decorations in the house. It's really not that much, but I'm gonna show you everything I have. And so much of it is from years past, so you may have seen it before, but I'm gonna point out all the new stuff I got this year, and everything that's still available, I will be sure and link down below in case you wanna snag it. Okay, let's start out with the living room. First of all, these decals are brought to you by the Dollar Tree. <laughs> we went in Dollar Tree for something, and Kaylee wanted these. They actually had a lot of different options to choose from, but she loves cupcakes, so she picked the cupcake. Oh, and I see like there's trash on my back porch, and it's disgusting, so excuse that. That pretty much leads me to the disclaimer that this is a real Vlogmas. This is not like a production Vlogmas. This is not where you see like perfectly edited clips put together and fun outings and trips. No, this is real life. And you're gonna see some crazy stuff. I have two kids. You're gonna see toys. You're gonna see trash. You're gonna see dirty couches. So just get ready for that. All right, for my tree this year, I am absolutely in love. Oh, it's so pretty. Actual Christmas tree I got three years ago. Um, we had it during our first Vlogmas, and they do still have this exact Christmas tree available, so I will link that. But the new thing that I added this year was all of this ribbon. So I added a black and white striped ribbon and also a faux fur ribbon. Everything else is the same from last year. All of my ornaments are the same. The only new thing I added was the ribbon, but wow, it makes a world of difference. So my idea was to add touches of black and white this year because we did get new light fixtures that are black. I'll show you those. But the black and white idea led me to all the new stuff I bought this year. So all of our gift bags and boxes are black and white. Um, some of these are from Sugar Paper from Target. And then some of these, like the Christmas tree one, let's see. The Holly Jolly, okay, that one's sugar paper. But I have a lot more in the closet and they're actually from Office Depot. Can you believe that? I went in there for something else and saw that these went with my theme and so I picked up a lot of them and, and they had such cute ones. Uh, the boxes are also from sugar paper. Those are actually from last year, but they have them again. The bows are from Target as well. So I'll link all this because all this is new. I forgot to add that the black and white ribbon is from a local decor store, and then the faux fur ribbon is from Michaels. So the budget-friendly way to get your tree looking something like this is to add just one new thing each year. We started out with the tree and a lot of the ornaments, and then the second year we added, where are they? Um, all these white balls. We just bought a ton of these and added those into our already existing ornaments. And this is the third year and we added the ribbon. And I do feel like it's pretty much complete. I really love the way it looks this year. So we just started out with what we had and we added a new ornament the next year and then the ribbon this year. And that's just the most budget friendly way to do a really full Christmas tree. All right, enough about the tree. I got this pillow new this year. You saw it in my Black Friday haul. It is from Target, and of course, I wanted to add in another touch of black. This faux fur throw I've had for years, but it is from Pottery Barn, so I think that they still have it. If you've ever wondered where this picture was from, because we've had it for all three years as well, it is from Hobby Lobby, and I see it every year there, so you may be able to still get it. On to our mantle. I keep these candlesticks up all year round, but the garland also matches the tree. And then I actually added the snowflakes to this. These are Christmas ornaments, and I just put one at each point up on the mantle. Our stockings are from Target from last year or two years ago, but I think they have one really similar. They have the faux fur and the pom-poms. And then the letters on these are from Walmart. I also see these every year. They're just glitter. I think they're gift tags but I put one on each of the stockings for all of our names. My little reindeer here by the fireplace is so old, but I'm pretty sure that I got this at Pier 1, but it was years and years ago. If you've watched Vlogmas in the past, you've seen these. They're from Sam's Club actually many years ago, but they're so pretty. 
And then I got new throw pillows this year. These are from Target and they have the cable knit, the faux fur, and the back is actually a white faux fur. So you can flip them over as well. You also saw these in my Black Friday haul and the other black and white striped ones that I ordered have not come in yet. So they'll go um, right behind here. They're a bigger size. So black and white striped to go with my new theme this year and then the faux fur. And then over here as well, I've got another one and I'll put another black and white striped. So that's the couch and the throw pillows. I was actually gonna move all of these toys and then I thought, you know what? We always have toys there. You're gonna see it eventually one way or another. <laughs> it's just what life is like with kids. There's always toys everywhere. So let's move on to the kitchen. So this is my little setup for the island. I actually created this last year. I went and bought the plain garland at Walmart and also the little ornaments at Walmart and stuck them on there. And then these reindeers are from Target from last year. They have some really similar this year though, so I'm gonna link those. And the candle burning right now is by Capri Blue. It is in spiced cider, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. It doesn't have very good throw like Bath & Body Works does, and it never, burns down evenly. Do you see all the wax on the side? I always have to scoop it out so it doesn't snuff out the flame. So honestly, wouldn't recommend that candle. I'm just waiting on my Bath and Body Works order to come in. So I added this cute little tree from Target this year. This is only $3. I still cannot believe that it's like wrapped in burlap already. It's flocked and it's really not that small. I think it's 12 or 13 inches for only three bucks. So definitely grab you one of these. I saw them both in my store and I ordered mine online. I got this from TJ Maxx the other day. I just thought it was too cute. We whisk you a Merry Christmas, a little spoon rest. They had a bunch of cute ones, but this one was my favorite. I also got this sign last year from Smallwood Home. Love everything that they have. My star is so old, but I do remember that it is from Pier 1. And then we have garland up top that is battery powered and it went out this year. Like none of my lights work. So I'm not gonna spend the money this year to replace it. We're just gonna go with it for this year and then I'll get new ones next year. And then we have my little coffee area. So I changed all of my mugs over to all of my Christmas mugs. And then I had the cute little idea to get out this sleigh. It's a crystal sleigh that my mom gave me. Actually, I think she gave it to me. She may just not know that it's missing, <laughs> but she's had it for so many years and I put my little Starbucks peppermint mochas in here. I thought that was really cute. These are so good. They're so not good for you. They're so high in sugar, but they're like drinking peppermint hot chocolate with coffee. They're just so thick and creamy and you don't have to add anything to them. And then in here is the little K-cups that come with it in the box. Um, I don't know if you care about all this, but this is just regular donut shop coffee. This is what my husband drinks, and I drink it with flavored creamers. And the third drawer is the peppermint bark coffee that I just shared with you. So good. Oh, I got this towel new the other day. It says Jingle All The Way, and it is keeping with my black and white theme. Well, my black, silver, and gold, so this one went perfectly. Let me show you what else came with it. I got this from TJ Maxx, and it is Kate Spade. So these actually came with it. Be merry, be bright. I love that the little grippy things on this are snowflakes, a little pot holder, and then a oven mitt. Isn't that cute? I forgot how much it was, but I did find it at TJ Maxx and it was the Kate Spade brand. They had quite a few different designs to choose from. So that's it for the kitchen. We'll go on to the dining area. Don't mind that. So it's not completely finished yet, but I got this new runner from Sugar Paper from Target. Like I said, keeping with the new black and white theme. Oh, I forgot to show you my new lot fixtures. These are actually new this year. We got them a few months ago. So we added a little touch more of black to the house. And then this chandelier is new this year as well, and it is black wrought iron with crystals. So that's kind of what inspired all of the new black and white stripe theme this year. So I got the new runner to go with that. This garland is from Hearth and Hand at Target. The centerpiece is exactly the same as last year. The reindeer came from Target last year. The sleigh was a gift from my grandmother. Um, and then I filled it with plastic ornaments and little LED lights. So here's the remote for it. So you just turn those on. Let's see. And so that's really pretty at night. And like I said, it isn't finished. I am gonna put little votive candles or candlesticks, um, space them out in between here so we can light them for Christmas dinner and it'll be nice and glowy with the lights and the lit candles. And I added this wreath to the mirror. This is normally over my hood in my kitchen. 
but the wreath is also hearth and hand from Magnolia at Target. So that's it for the whole living area, kitchen and dining, and I'll show you just the little touches we have in the bedrooms. So I replaced the flowers on my dresser with these same flocked Christmas trees from Target. These are the largest ones they have, and these are only $10. Like I said, so impressed that they are so inexpensive for how large they are. I don't think you can find that price anywhere. And then I added this string of LED lights. It has moose, meese, mooses. I don't know how to say that plural. Uh, moose LED lights on here. And I thought it would show up in my YouTube videos, but you can't see the lights at all. So years ago before we had kids, we did have a Christmas tree up in our bedroom, but we just don't have the time or energy anymore. And I really wanted to get it up this year, but it didn't happen again. So fingers crossed, maybe next year we'll have an extra Christmas tree up. Now for Mason's room, he has the cutest tiny little tree in his room. I got this tree from Walmart last year. The bow topper is also from Walmart. The ornaments are this little bear ornament was from Walmart. I got this new this year. These came from Target. They're personalized ornaments. I got one for Kaylee as well. And then he got this last year from his grandma. Uh, the string says Baby's First Christmas 2017. And then I found this in the attic. I think I've had this sleigh for seven years now. We got it our second Christmas in this house. So I thought that would be really cute just to make the tree a little higher on his changing table. So that's all of Mason's little decorations. Sorry, it's so dark in Kaylee's room. There are so many light bulbs out of her chandelier. My husband needs to change those. But hers is actually not finished yet. Um, she put on all these haphazard ornaments and she threw some like a necklace on there. And here's her little personalized ornament that I got from Target this year. I still need to get all of her ornaments out and decorate it myself, but I let her, you know, decorate it by herself first. And then I'll go in and actually put all of these up. But she's got all of her ornaments, like her first Christmas, ones that grandparents have given her in years past. Oh, she did get some new ornaments this year, though. We went to Walmart one day, and I thought these were the cutest ornaments. Here's a lollipop, ice cream cone, cupcake, an ice cream bar, and then this cute little snowman. I just thought these would look so cute in her room. They're so glittery and girly, and the pink and purple are so pretty, and she has such a sweet tooth. I thought they were just perfect. I didn't even realize that her stocking had blue in it, so that'll look really cute. Her great aunt actually made this uh, stocking for her her very first Christmas, so it's really special. Oh yeah, and the last little touch is I put her bottle brush trees up here on her bookcase, which is a disaster right now, by the way. Like, we've got some major work to do. <laughs> but you can still find the bottle brush trees at Target, I think, this year as well. I just found this in Kaylee's room. I forgot that I had put it in there, but it is a little countdown calendar. It comes with all of the numbers, and you stick them right here and count down the days till Christmas. I thought this would be a really fun way to teach her numbers, so I think I'm going to hang that on the front of her door and let her change that out daily. Isn't that so cute? I think they had a couple of different ones, and this was from the Target dollar spot. So that's all of my Christmas decor this year. Obviously, this is my favorite area of the entire house. It's so pretty and cozy, and I just love it. I love to sit here on the couch and watch Hallmark movies. So I have a feeling there will be a lot of unboxings going on during the first few days of Vlogmas, at least, because I bought a lot of Christmas gifts. I'm nearly completely done with the kids. I think I'm completely done with them except for stocking stuffers. So I bought a lot of the kids' presents, which most of those will come in. Um, and then I did a lot of shopping on Black Friday. So everything that comes in, I'll be sure and unbox for you. This is from Amazon and I actually have no idea what it is. Oh, not very exciting. These are padded envelopes. I bought these to ship out some Color Street nail orders that some people placed with me on Black Friday. I did like a little sale on Black Friday, so I'm having them shipped to me and then I've got to ship it out to the customers. And this is from Target. They ship one order in like seven different shipments, so I actually don't know what this is either because I bought a lot of toys from Target. Oh, this is one of Kaylee's Christmas presents. It's the Baby Alive Potty Dance Baby. She's been asking for this. This and the Cry Baby are the two things that she's asked for the most. So my mom was going to get her the Cry Baby, and I said she's been telling everybody that Santa is going to bring her the Cry Baby. So I think I'm going to have to switch this with the Cry Baby with my mom and let Santa give her Cry Baby. So I've got to go hide this. And I think one day for Vlogmas, I'm going to take you to my little hiding spot and show you everything that I'm getting the kids for Christmas. 
So for a one-year-old little boy and my almost four-year-old little girl, I'm just gonna go show you everything that I already bought them. Oh, that reminds me, all of these gift bags down here and the gift boxes, they're completely empty. I knew that if I put gifts in them this early that one of my kids would open them and they'd find out what they were getting. So they're just for show. They're just to make the tree look pretty. There's nothing in them. And then right before Christmas, I'll fill them with our family's gifts and maybe some of the kids. But for the most part, I wrap the kids in paper. They love to rip off the paper. And Santa doesn't wrap a single thing. He just lays it out because that's how Santa rolls. So that's my little tip if you want your tree to look pretty and like you already got your Christmas shopping done, but you got little kids or maybe you just don't have any shopping done. Um, yeah, empty gift bags and boxes are the way to go. So it's a gorgeous day. I'm gonna take a walk to the mailbox and see if we got any packages in there. But it is 74 degrees today. It feels so nice. It just feels so good, but I won't lie. I'm ready for the cold weather again. I love it when it gets cold and I can wrap up in a sweater. And if you're also not from the country, like I have a really long driveway, so I take a walk down to the mailbox. And it's a nice way to just get out of the house. So I had one more package at the mailbox to unbox for you, but I also completely forgot to mention why you haven't seen Greg and the kids yet today. Greg got up with them this morning and let me sleep in. He fed them breakfast, he got them dressed and ready, and then he took them over to my in-laws. They were gonna be watching college football games all day long, so it was so sweet of him. He wanted me to be able to sleep in and get ready and shoot the home decor, so it was just so sweet of him to do that. Him and his dad were gonna be watching the game, and then, of course, my mother-in-law was so excited to get to play with the kids. So you'll be seeing them soon. Oh, this is my Shein order. I really did not know what to expect when I ordered from them, so we're gonna see how the quality is on these pieces. Oh, this is so cute. It actually doesn't even have a tag inside of it, but it's really soft and not scratchy, and the thing that I'm impressed with the most is it's really, really thick. Like, it's a really nice sweater. But I love this light cream leopard print color. I'm gonna have to try it on and see if it's long enough to wear with leggings because that's what I bought it for. But I've just always loved leopard print and this year it's so big so I just can't stop buying it because I already loved it. And next is the coat I bought. I have no idea if this is gonna be cute or not but it looks so cute online. And when I showed my husband what I ordered, he was like, seriously? Of course I get that reaction a lot. <laughs> All right, this one definitely doesn't seem like the highest of quality, but it was only $25. Um, and it's got pearls all over the top and then fur at the bottom. I'm gonna try these on for you so you see what they look like on. So this is definitely one of those pieces where you're gonna have to be wearing the right thing underneath it and like style it right. But I really do think it's pretty and if I'm just gonna wear it for a couple of special occasions, like I only wanna spend $25 on it. It does have an eye hook here in the middle and it has an eye hook at the top as well. But I got a size medium. It feels a tiny bit big, but I don't think that I'd go for a small because of the shoulders. So I really like it. I mean, I feel a little bit like Big Bird in it, but in a good way, like it would be really pretty over a little holiday dress or even like with jeans and heels and like the right top underneath. The pearls don't go all the way to the back, but the feathers do. So yeah, my husband's just gonna have to bear with me when I wear this with him to church or something like that because I really like it. Yay, this one is long enough for leggings. I like for it to cover the front and then it will also cover most of my bottom. So this is actually one of their sweaters that it says one size fits all and it is nice and oversized. So it really will fit a lot of people. Um, I like that it has the mock neck and I just love this light cream color. It's very cozy. I cannot get over how thick it is. Like it really feels like really high in quality. What did I got? Two snuggle bugs. I missed y'all so much. Hey Mason, you're gonna walk my thumb. Mason, look at daddy. Right here, Mason. What is he doing? <gasps> This is going to be for a vlogmas. Hey. Hi. <laughs> would you like to visit me every day? Yes, they would like to visit you every day. Y'all ready to go eat? Not yet. Where um, do you want to go eat? Salt grass. <laughs> salt grass? I think mommy wants Olive Garden. <laughs> Uh, I, I told her it's time to go, baby. Mommy wants to go to Olive Garden. She said, what about saltgrass? <laughs>
I said, I know. Girl with fine taste. You want steak. I don't want steak. What do you want? Mac. Mac and cheese? Yes. I want, well, the reason I want Olive Garden is because they have the new lobster and shrimp mac and cheese. <coughs> is what's on there. I saw it on a commercial last night and I was like, I want Olive Garden. Well, they have spaghetti. You want spaghetti? <laughs> oh my gosh, my parents are going to take me out to eat. I know. Rough. Rough life. So oddly enough, I think we went and ate at Olive Garden last year on the very first day of Vlogmas. And it's just, it's really kind of random because we haven't eaten at Olive Garden but maybe one other time between last December 1st and this December 1st. Have we even been? I, think, I think we've been one time in between. But like I said, I saw that commercial on TV for the lobster and shrimp mac and cheese and it just sounded so good that it gave me the idea to go. <laughs> So I brought this home from Olive Garden. This is their new chocolate fudge brownie lasagna. It's got cream cheese icing for the layers and fudge brownie in the middle. Yum. I'm about to put the kids to bed and start editing the vlog for today while I eat this and watch probably Hallmark movies. So I hope you all enjoyed the first day of Vlogmas and we'll see you tomorrow for day two. Bye.